Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. In this video, you'll see the design steps for this model. This model is a very simple model. We'll create this model in part design workbench. I hope you liked the video and if you can support the channel with a donation, I really appreciate it. To support the channel, simply access the first link in the description of this video. Now let's go to FreeCAD, create a new document and switch to the part design workbench. And next create a new sketch, click on this icon and select to YZ plane for the sketch here. And now zoom out and now go to sketch geometries and select polyline tool. What you'll draw in this sketch here will be a sketch for this section here. Okay, so let's create this sketch. Let's go to FreeCAD. Okay, and next here we'll set the size of these lines. Select constraint distance tool. Click in this line here and here we'll set a length of five millimeters, this dimension here. Okay, and for this line here we'll set 7.5 millimeters. This vertical line here will set a length of 7. Okay, and this horizontal line here will set a length of. Okay, here in the east of view, you can see this ridge here for this cycle. So the link here will be the five and the enter. And now let's hide these constraints here, clicking this icon. And now let's create these two arcs here, this arc here and this arc. Select arc tool here and draw this first arc in this way. And now let's draw this arc, clicking this point and draw this arc here. And now we'll set this point here, tangent. Okay, and delete this constraint here. These two points here must be constant, select constant. And now let's set the radius for these two arcs here. Select constant cycle, clicking this first arc here, and we'll set the radius of 120. Okay, and for this arc here, we'll set 35. Okay, and now we have three degrees of freedom here. So let's see what we need to do now. Okay, here we can see this distance here, 20, this vertical distance here. So what we'll do is select this vertical distance tool and then this point here and this origin point and we'll set 20. Okay, and now what you see here, we see this distance here. So what you'll do is to select horizontal distance tool and then this point here and this origin point and we'll set the distance. Okay, and now let's try this in this way. Now we have one degree of freedom here. Select line tool and draw this horizontal line here. Select horizontal constraint and make this line horizontal. Okay, and now leave this sketch, press home and let's select this revolution tool. Press home again and now click OK. Okay, and next here, what you can do is to create this hole here. The diameter of this hole is 8. So we select this top face here and then hold to change the diameter to 8 millimeters. And now change depth here to 100 and click OK. And now we have this hole in this part here. And next here, let's create a new sketch for this part here. OK. Click in this icon and select XY plane for this sketch. Okay, and now what we'll do here is to extract this circular edge and the circular edge here. 
okay so first let's go to sky geometers and select external geometry tool and extra this edge here and this edge okay and now switch to the station view and select rectangle tool and now clicking this circular edge and in this edge here okay and now select symmetric constraint and what do you do now now we'll set this point these 20 points met to this horizontal line okay and now we'll set these these distance here 1.5 select vertical distance tool click in this vertical line and set 1.5 and leave the sketch press home okay here you can see the sketch okay and next here what we'll do is to create this this first part here to create this part here we'll use a div lx tool so now what you do now we go to the model tab and here we need to select this sketch here and then this tool here lx tool okay press home now and now uncheck this option and let's change the axis here to z axis okay and now here we'll set this pitch here 300 we'll set 300 here and date of this operation will be 7 okay and now check this option and click ok okay and now as you can see we have this part now okay and the next thing to do now is to create a polar pattern of these parts around this part here so what you need to do is to select this operation here at if Alex and then polar pattern okay and now we'll change the number of occurrence here to 15 and okay Okay, now as you can see you have this polar button here of this part here this operation okay and the next step is to is to create a new sketch to create this pocket here okay, let's go to free cut let's go to this whole operation click on this arrow and then in this arrow here of this revolution operation and now select this sketch here click copy icon and now we'll select only this sketch here and enter now click on this icon to pass the sketch and now close this and drag this sketch here into this body and space bar to make this sketch visible okay and now we'll make a double click here and switch to the session view and now let's hide these all constraints here clicking this icon okay and now select this all geometry of this sketch here and let's turn this sketch here let's turn this geometry to construction geometry clicking this icon now as you can see the color of this sketch here change it okay okay now select polline tool and draw this sketch okay now we have this sketch here and what we'll do next here first here we'll select these two points here now we'll select this point here and this point and we'll set horizontal constraint okay and next let's set the rest of this arc here select this constraint here click in this arc and here we'll set the rest of 20 for this arc okay and 
and now what we do now we select this point here and this point and let's set tangent okay and now drag this point here okay delete this line here and drag this point okay and also drag this point here to and let's select this point and this point here and set vertical constraint okay and now what we do let's set the distance here between these two points select this point and this point here and vertical constraint and here we'll set a distance of 2.5 Okay, and now select line tool, click on this point and draw this line here. Okay, and now let's set uh, the size of this sketch here. First we'll select this horizontal distance tool. We we'll set the distance between this point here to this origin point. The distance here is 18, so we'll set 18 here. Okay, and okay, this point here to this origin point will set 85 here. Okay, and now let's select vertical distance tool. Okay, here we can see this distance 54. So we'll select this point here and this point, and we'll set the distance. Okay, and now we have one degree of freedom. So we'll select horizontal distance tool. Select this line here and let's set five millimeters. Okay, and now we have the sketch full constrained. So let's leave the sketch, click on this icon. Okay, and now we're able to create a pocket using this tool here, Groove Tool. So now what you need to do is to select this sketch here and then groove tool okay as you can see we have this click ok okay as you can see this is the final part what can i say is we finish uh, the design of this model here thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful, please leave a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. And also watch another video of the channel. And if you can support the channel with a donation, I really appreciate it. Simply access the first link in the description of this video.